Pat saved $600 of his earnings last month. How much did Pat earn last month? So statement number one tells us Pat spent half his earnings for the last month on his living expenses and saved a third of the remainder. So let's say that capital E was his earnings. And so he spent half of this, half of E, on his living expenses. Well, the remainder, the remainder would be the other half of E. He spent a third of that. He, well, he took a third of that and he put it into savings. And of course, that savings would be 600. Well, here we have an equation where we could solve for E, his earnings. We don't actually have to go ahead and solve. We just have to recognize we do have an equation here we could solve. And so this statement is sufficient. Now, completely ignore statement number one, moving on to statement number two. Of his earnings last month, Pat paid twice as much in taxes as he saved. So he saved 600, so that means he paid in taxes twice as much, 1,200. Now, if we knew the tax rate, we might be able to figure out his earnings. But other than that, we have no direct way of figuring out what his earnings were purely from this statement. So this statement by itself is insufficient. And therefore, when the first statement is sufficient, the second statement is insufficient, the answer is A.